Happy holidays, everybody, from Dragon Shadow. Yay! I'm not gonna say who I am. I'm not gonna say who I am either. Because we're we're just mad at you guys. Yeah. Welcome to our special holiday let's play of Mega Man. Mega Man. Seriously, guys, we actually looked for like a long-standing franchise that had a lot of holiday releases, and this is what we found. Mega Man, strangely enough, had a lot of holiday releases. So, so we're going back to the golden age of video games. So it, you could actually say that we're having a Blue Bomber Christmas? Yeah. Indeed. Welcome everybody to uh, Mega Man, and obviously people saw that I picked uh, Cut Man. One of the things that's cool about the Mega Man games, and first of all, one of the cool things about this Let's Play, this is Alex's first time seeing the Mega Man franchise. So this will be an interesting run. Um, what I was saying before is, obviously you had a pick of six Robot Masters. This goes higher in the next games uh, to eight, but you basically got to pick which game or which level you wanted to take on first. So literally, I didn't have to start with Cut Man. I could have started with Bomb Man. Right. But in the meantime, I decided to go with traditional fashion because in a lot of cases, it was encouraged through a series that I don't know, Alex, maybe you've heard of, Captain N, the Game Master, mm. that you start with Cut Man. I see. Subtle hint to gamers. That was an interesting episode, especially since it was the first episode of Captain N, the Game Master. And who, know, who knew that Captain N would be so popular as he would actually become an internet celebrity that disappeared without a trace? Seriously, I want to know where Captain S is. I want to know what he's doing. Because after his little spout with the nerd, uh, nothing. But in the meantime, Alex, you can kind of see what, what kind of a game this is. It's just a platformer action game. Yeah, standard platforming and looks good for its day. Good, looks good for 8-bit. Uh, one of the things that does not carry into the, the other games is, if you see, can see the little score counter. Yeah. This was back in the day when Unfortunately, game makers thought that score was still important. Yes. And that that will disappear. What is this, like, 85? Um, I think it was like 84. Right, when this yeah. game released. So, we're, we're like right after the Atari days, after the video game crash. Yep. And then also this was the, the time where Japan thought horrendous video game art was awesome. <laughs> so if you've seen the infamous blue and yellow Mega Man, uh, I'm sorry. I actually think the European title was better. Or, European cover. And we're actually almost to the end of Cutman's stage. And these are the biggest pains in my butt ever! Pogo stick men. They literally will take a third of your health if they touch you. Wow. It sucks. Alright, and this is actually the second checkpoint. This is one of the things that made Mega Man so popular was checkpoints. Uh, we just pa we passed the first one. Now we have the second, which is right next to the Robot Master. And here we go, Cut Man! Boss time! Yep, he has to let you know that he's got scissors on his head. This is actually one of the things I laugh at is, according to the story of this game, all six of the Robot Masters were actually built by Dr. Light. And they were all built to s fulfill a purpose in the city. So, mm -hmm. and the reason Cutman was built was to be, like, an automated barber. Wow. Yeah, that was totally needed, right? Compared <laughs> to the others? So what went terribly wrong? Yeah, exactly. Now he can cut people's heads off. Okay, so now we've actually acquired Cutman's abilities, which is another trademark of the Mega Man franchise, is that you kind of play rock, paper, scissors with all the robot masters. And now that we have Cutman's ability, Ghost I just so happen to know where you go next. So we're going to hit Electman. Electman. Or as really? I like to call it, the stage from hell. Now, people, now Mega Man fans will have to forgive me just one little slant. I actually forgot that you actually could kill these things with the rolling cutter, which is what Cutman gave me. So I will not kill them this time around, but we actually will make a second run for the one of the secret items in the game. I'm trying to keep this all secret because Alex is first time. Yeah. So I'm taking it all in and absorbing Ooh. it. 
If this was one of those games that actually was considered Nintendo hard, why do you think, Alex? It looks hard. Not only that, if you get hit, you get knocked back. Right. So that sucks. Oh, and another staple of the Mega Man franchise, the block mazes. Uh, block mazes. You have to memorize where they spawn and then figure out how to get to where you're going. And this one's obviously very easy. I didn't know where I was going, Alex. I, I got totally lost. Well, admittedly, I probably would have kept trying to jump there if I was playing. Oh, pretty much. I, everybody tried for those little blue pellets. Everybody did. Don't... No, you Mega Man fans, don't deny it. You tried. And to the experts that can do it, we praise you. There are greater Mega Man players than I. Alright, I'll admit that. My rust will show in this LP. And obviously we have to have electric theme throughout the level. Now this is actually... The, the other interesting part of the story here is that they have captured key parts of the city. Of, of the city that they live in. Right. So this would be the power plant, mm -hmm. roughly. Uh, I think Cutman just gets a hold of the city itself. Right. And there's the item I was talking about. So you see that? We can't get it yet. Tease. Tease, exactly. And so a lot of people actually went, What's that? I don't know. We'll find out later. We just don't have the appropriate Robot Master part. But a lot of people actually hate that power because it is a little bit of a cheat. Uh -huh. You'll see when we get it. Alright. And we actually did pass the halfway point a while ago. Ooh. And I just realized I can't go this way. Because uh, I don't have the appropriate Robot Master power. So I'm going, oh, this sucks! I'm used to doing a totally different order of Robot Masters. So, by by now, I actually would have the power I needed. Because mm -hmm. I've got the power! And now I have to deal with these stupid little buggers. With very little health. And now, oh, okay, cool. Okay, cool. I actually thought I had to wait until the second playthrough. <coughs> the rolling cutter correctly. And apparently I can't aim the rolling cutter worth crap. There we go. And you guys will have to uh, pardon the emulator here. It's a little buggy. I tried to fix this on numerous playthroughs, and it it's just problematic. Are you playing uh, off an emulator? Yes, I'm playing on an emulator. I do have a collection, but unfortunately the collection looks kind of bad and dated. So, if it looks a little buggy, yeah, it's a little bit. I promise the other em the other emulated games are not that bad. I see. So when we get there. Alright, this should actually put us really close to Elekman. 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 Yep, and obviously we have our door guard. See, there oh, you go. Nice yeah. big chunk. And we don't even have the power to, like, stop them from doing that. That's the biggest issue. Ah! Such pressure! Yeah, it could be worse. At least there's not, like, a scrolling bottom that's going to kill you. Um, not in this game. Yeah. I think those come back in later games. Yes. Yeah, it's a true staple of old platformers. Um, in fact, Inafune, the creator, oh. is really well known for not the the down, mm -hmm. but the left. Right. So, so you have to keep going right. So he's famous for the auto scroll. Yes. Um, now, one of the other reasons that I, I picked this franchise, and I, I'm glad you brought up where I could bring up Inafune. Um, one of the other things that I, would, I think Alex would love about this series is Inafune's actual approach. He didn't want to do a game. He wanted to do the music. Mm. And so you're hearing a little bit of his score, and I'll admit, this isn't the best stuff he's come up with. That'll come in later games. Alright, so now we're facing off with Cutman, and his power hurts. Mm. But we take him out... 
And now we have his power, which is the Thunder Beam. Thunder. 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 Thundercats. Ho! But in the meantime, we are going to go ahead and take a quick break. Next time, we'll be taking on yet another two Robot Masters. We'll see you then. I am Drag. I am Shadow. And we hope you start having a Merry Blue Bomber Christmas with us. Stay tuned.